This pandemic has impacted everything in our lives, including the way we date. Online dating apps have seen a surge in users in the past few weeks. On March 29th, Tinder said it recorded more than 3 billion swipes, the most swipes on any single day in its history. Usership there up 20%. Bumble has seen an 84% increase in voice calls and video chats. And Hinge launched a date from home feature, which sets up digital dates. And 70% of its users have used that feature. There are a lot of factors that have gone into the increased usership. Jamie Perez shows us some of the surprising reasons behind the trend. Jamie? A lot of these apps were founded on creating meaningful relationships, and now that we're in quarantine, that desire for human interaction is at an all-time high. But there's a lot of other reasons why dating apps are seeing an increase in usership right now. Some of the reasons you might find particularly interesting. This is what love on lockdown looks like. Our time in quarantine has caused a spike in usership of dating apps, but not all of that increase is from people who are relation shopping or trying to self-isolate and chill. Recently been using dating apps as a term uh, or as a form of entertainment. Brooke Wilczewski is the Bumble campus director at UW-Madison. She says as a cure for boredom, many have been using this time to play Bumble or play Tinder. That basically means swiping and seeing who matches with you without any expectation of forming any sort of meaningful relationship. It's also being used to entertain others through other social media platforms. Which is a trend that a lot of people have been doing right now as well, is messaging lyrics to a song and seeing if their matches continue it um, in a bid to try to get fame and on TikTok, which is hilarious because every single one of those videos do wind up going viral. This is fascinating. Catalina Toma is a professor of communication science at UW-Madison. She was just as fascinated with this trend as I was. That makes a lot of sense to me. We're actually working on uh, on a research project about people's propensity to play games during COVID. Usership on dating apps may be up right now, but that's because of a lot of reasons. On top of those who are trying to form romantic relationships, Toma said it's also been used as a way to curb loneliness, make friends, validate someone's desire to feel wanted, and with the increase in domestic violence and divorce rates right now, those people are also turning to dating apps. This could be a driver of some individuals going to online dating sites as well, you know, to see who's out there in case my partner completely drives me crazy and I want to leave them. While there may be this darker side to usership increasing, Wilczewski said this could actually benefit users in the future. I think that this is really, really incredible for dating because what we've seen in hookup culture is some of the frustration has been is there doesn't seem to be a real need for these truly emotionally intimate connections rather than just physically intimate. Whether dating from home will continue as a trend past quarantine, we'll just have to wait and see. I hope it does. I can't say it ultimately will or won't, but I think it provides a great opportunity for it to do so. So there's definitely some benefits to what's happening right now. But as far as this continuing past quarantine, Thomas says that she's not so sure. She thinks that by the time we're done self-isolating, the desire for people to have in-person meetings will be so great that it's really difficult to tell if video chatting and digital dating will be a continuing trend beyond this. It is interesting. A lot is going to change when this is all over. Jamie Perez joining us live. Jamie, thank you. The death